morning everybody good morning good morning guys um if you are a new subscriber guys thank you so much for coming to check out my channel i hope that you guys stay a while there's a lot of fun stuff on my channel please feel free to check out the playlist i'm sure that there's something that you'll find that will resonate with you and that you'll enjoy and um, I just thank you for coming to check me out. If you're a returning subscriber, you guys know how much I love and appreciate you. And I hope that um, this resonates with you guys as well. And just so you guys know, I am doing readings. I'm going to link everything down below um, on my website. But I am doing readings and I'll leave my email if you're interested in a personal reading. I know several of my subscribers have already tried me out um, and they were not disappointed. They got some guidance and everything. And that's what I love to do. Is just kind of help everybody you know become their highest self and do things for their highest good so if you're interested in that everything will be linked down below and I want to get right started into um, the reading so I thought that I would start doing some readings in regards to our sign you know Pisces as a collective dealing with certain other signs so the first sign that I'm gonna do today is a Pisces dealing with the Taurus now I've seen a lot of readers, you know, um, do things in like a different way, which I think is awesome because I think that we're all different and I think it's amazing. Um, but I actually kind of wanted to try a different type of spread. It is, it is going to be a love spread, so don't worry about that. But I'm going to shuffle the cards. I've already meditated on this. I've already saged everything. I basically cleared all the cards. I do that before every single reading, every single video. I legit completely spend time meditating and completely spend time like saging and cleansing all the cards everything i even cleanse my crystals before every video every like everything 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 like i go crazy it's it's really crazy so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just shuffle the cards and see what spirit has to pop out and then i'll explain to you guys hopefully you can see them if you can't see the full spread i will show you the cards after and after i explain everything i will show you so just stay tuned but let's get started. I thought that it'd be fun to see how um, you see them, how they see you, what they want for the relationship, what you want from the relationship, and then where you guys each believe that the relationship could be going. This is if you are dealing, you know, with the Taurus. And guys, I just want to preface and say this. Yes, this video is particularly because my energy is going to be focused on any Pisces dealing with the Taurus. But here's the thing. This literally, if it resonates with you, it could literally be any sign. So if the person's not a Taurus, but this information fits, then you take it. You take what you leave, what you need and you leave the rest. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So don't try, you know, to make this fit into your life and some sort of scenario or say like, but that's not me or that's not that, you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't. And that's okay. It's not going to resonate with everybody. We are a very big collective, you know, as all... <laughs> So it's not going to fit with everybody. But my goal is to hopefully reach a good amount of the collective. So again, even though I'm focusing all of my energy, hard body, and meditated on Pisces dealing with Taurus for this particular reading, if it's not a Taurus and it resonates with you, it's for you. The message is for you. You can watch this video at any time. And if it resonates, you come to it, you click on it. It's really meant for you at that particular time. It's, it's divine intervention at its best. So let's get started. Okay, spirit guides, ancestors. How does Pisces see Tori? All right, so we got the one. And they're going to be, we're going to put you guys Pisces up top, and then I'm going to put Taurus at the bottom. All right. What does Pisces want from the relationship with Taurus? What does Pisces want from the relationship with Taurus spirit? What does Pisces want from the relationship with Taurus? What does Pisces want from the relationship with Taurus spirit? What does Pisces want from the relationship with Taurus? What does Pisces want from the relationship with Taurus? Pisces wants from the relationship with Taurus. Okay. Bear with me, guys. Sometimes it takes them a little bit to give me information. And what does where does Pisces believe this relationship is going? Spirit, where does Pis Pisces believe this relationship is going? Where does Pisces believe that this relationship is going? Spirit guides, ancestors, where does Pisces believe? 
see that this relationship is going. Pisces dealing with Taurus at the moment. Where does Pisces believe that this relationship is going? I guess, oh, Jesus Christmas. That one freaking flew the hell out, guys. Holy Jesus Christmas. Okay. All right, guys. So we have you guys at the top here. And I will flip them over so you guys can see. Don't worry. Okay. How does Taurus see Pisces at the moment there? How does Taurus see Pisces at the current moment? How does Taurus see Pisces at the current moment, Spirit? How does Taurus see Pisces? How does Taurus see Pisces, Spirit? How does Taurus see Pisces currently? 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 Okay. What does Taurus want? I didn't even, that's hilarious. Okay. All right. So where does Taurus believe that this relationship is going? Where does Taurus believe that this relationship is going? Where does Taurus believe that this relationship is going? Where does Taurus believe that this relationship is going? Oh, okay. Okay, guys. And I don't really do the whole, like, look at the bottom of the deck or whatever. I don't really do that. I just feel like it doesn't really concern me. It's whatever they pop out. Okay, so I'm going to flip you guys over here. And remember, so let's... So where how you guys see this relationship with your Taurus is the three of cups, okay? You obviously want to be on friendly terms with them, obviously. You obviously want to be on friendly terms with them. I don't know, the vibe that I'm picking up is that maybe you're not even in communication with this Taurus right now, or maybe this Taurus is kind of like retreating from you. It could be. Um, Tauruses are very stubborn, so they could be very cold right now towards you, but what you and how you're seeing them is that you really, you want to celebrate with them. You want to at least be on good terms with them. That's definitely what I'm seeing here on how you guys um, see the Tauruses currently. And you just, it's almost like you just want to be in communication with them, right? You want to be social with them. You want things to be on good terms. You want things to be on good terms. Most of you, I feel like are not really in communication with them right now it could be that you're not in communication right now and you want and you want to be you want to be on good terms what you guys want <laughs> from the relationship it's almost like you want to start new i feel like the overall energy is that again that you guys are like not currently in communication but you want to be you want to be it's almost like you guys can't it's almost like you can't let go of this particular person. Yeah, you want to be in communication and you see them like you want to, it, you want something to start over. You want to start over with them. You definitely want, you want like a new start with them. That's, you definitely want to start over with them for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. You guys want to start over with them. You want like a new beginning with them. You feel like, the opportunities with this particular person could be endless. You feel like they could be like your person. You know what I'm saying? Like you feel like it's almost like you guys feel like you could be a power couple. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to chase this. You want, you want to be with this person. You want this to be your person. You want this to be your person. And where you believe that this is going I don't know. I, I feel like you guys are still holding on to hope here. You guys are still holding on to this hope that this relationship is going to work. You're trying to keep your emotions in check. You're trying to keep your emotions in check and it, 
you almost see this Taurus as like somebody who is a person that's able to deal with your bullshit. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and mind you, I feel like most Tauruses don't deal with bullshit. They don't like drama. They don't deal with a lot of bullshit. But for some reason, you feel like this person can handle all your shit as a Pisces, you know? And as a Pisces, meaning like, if you, you know, if you start overthinking or overanalyzing, it's almost like they, they bear with that with you because they ground you, you know, Tauruses are an earth sign. So they, they do, they are grounding in a sense. They're very successful. You know, like once they get their mind to something, they definitely, you know, are go getters, hard workers for sure. Hands down. I don't think anybody can take that away from a Taurus, but you feel like they ground you. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you're currently not, it doesn't seem like you guys are currently in communication. If you are, there, it's kind of like a, a, a seesaw right now is what I'm picking up. And so, like I said, you want to be in communication with this person. That's kind of like, you know, how you see them. You want to be on friendly terms again. You want to be talking. You want to be in communication. You really definitely see them as like a person that's your person. You, you feel like you could be a power couple. And you believe that the relationship could be going towards something better. And not for nothing, guys, but if that's how you feel then that's how you feel. And that's something that you should work on with this connection. If you really want to work on this connection with this person, then go for it. You're a Pisces. You should know innately what you can tolerate, what you can't tolerate. It's completely up to you. I don't even need to, to clarify this, to be honest. It's just that currently you guys are either not in communication or there's minimal communication going on. That's what I'm sensing. And if you guys are in communication, it's not like the best communication at the time, like at the moment. It's just not. Even though this is the way that you're feeling, you guys are currently like not kind of like in communication. So this is how you guys are with the relationship with Tauruses. So now we're going to flip this over and see how the Taurus is feeling about this connection, which will be interesting to see. So the way that they see you is the Queen of Pentacles. So they see you in a, in a very good light. I mean... There's no question about it. They definitely see you as like, it's almost like they have you on, on like a pedestal. It's almost like, it's almost like if you're, it's almost like if they're not even worthy of you or something. It's almost like, you know what I'm saying? Like they see you as this like very independent, like, you know, mothery, like just, you know, they feel homey. They, they It's almost like they see you as home. Like when they're with you, it's almost like they see you as, as home. Like, it's the, it's just, you guys know what I mean. Like, it's just Queen of Pentacles. It's like, she has a good balance of everything. Like, she can balance everything very well. She can be a mom. She could be a worker. You know, she could work, take care of the home, still raise the kids, and still take care of her man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she could still please her man. Like, she could do everything. Do you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, they, they really see you as, like, this independent, like, grounded, down-to-earth person, and... They love that about you. This is what they love about you. They really do. Like, they really see you as this person that they put on a pedestal. They may not tell you that. <laughs> they may not be telling you that. But this is how they see you. But they may not be telling you that. But this is how they see you. And let's see. So what they want from the relationship, they know that there's obstacles. They know that there's obstacles. And there are some obstacles. It seems like there's a lot of obstacles. There's just, there's, it seems like there's something in the way. There's like a little something else that's in the way that's almost keeping them from you. Which is so weird because it's almost like if they, if they want to come towards you, they should just come towards you. You know what I mean? But there's something here. There's something keeping them back. I don't know if it could be another person you know or, or something that they feel loyal to um they could be you know really working a lot too i know you know tauruses are very much like that like they're very into their work and accomplishing things and really you you know wanting to get things going you know what i mean but who knows they just there's something going on here there's some sort of obstacle that's keeping them in the way from you i still feel like they want to come towards you though I still feel like they want to come towards you, but it's like, it's like they can't and something's in the way. Something's in the way. And the way that they see this going is they, I think they, they feel heartbreak. It, something's going on here where 
something's keeping them from you and they're really heartbroken about it. They are. It's almost I don't I don't pick up the energy that they want to break your heart per se. They might be breaking your heart currently. Like I said, if you guys are not in communication or or like I said if if like if it's on rocky ground right now, this right here is like they don't want to feel like this. I This is for me because this is their energy. They're the ones that are heartbroken. Do you know what I'm saying? Because if this popped up for you, then you would be heartbroken because maybe that's what they're doing to you. They, I feel like you did something and they're heartbroken. Like maybe there was something you didn't tell them or something went on. What's going on, Pisces? Did you do something to this Taurus? Because I don't know what's going on here. I'm getting like this energy like they're really... Oh my gosh, they're just like really heartbroken, but they cannot, they feel like they, they, even though they see you like this and they know that you're the person that they want to be with, it's almost like there's something here challenging them and they, and they can't, there's something going on here and they can't, and they are all up in their fucking feelings about it. They're not happy. They're not happy about it. They're upset. They're not happy. They're heartbroken. They're feeling pain. And listen, my fellow Pisces, okay, if you're this person, if your Taurus person currently is being cold to you or ignoring you or like, it, are you guys are like in no communication, please don't think that people can't be hurting when they're silent and cold. It's almost kind of like the opposite. I feel like when people are cold and silent, they're hurting even more because they don't know what the fuck to do or what the fuck to say. It, they really don't. So... This wouldn't have popped out if they didn't really like love and care for you and like feel a certain type of way about you. But there's something here. There's a challenge here. Something's keeping them tied. Something's keeping them bound. And even if I did clarify this for you, it would just clarify that it could either be, like I said, work or a third party situation or there could be kids involved. Like there could be so many different situations, right? And we don't know until we openly communicate. So... Just know that it doesn't mean that they don't feel something for you because they do see you as this Queen of Pentacles. But something's here, something's, something's blocking them and they're upset and hurt about it. I feel like this is almost hurting them more than it's hurting you. Even though if you could be hurting and you're hurt, this is definitely hurting them more than it's hurting you not communicating and not like telling you like what's going on. This is definitely hurting them more than it's hurting you. This is like for sure. All right, I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull a love oracle card for you guys because I just want to, can I get a love card on what Pisces can focus on to deal with the situation currently with their Taurus? A love card for Pisces to deal with this current kind of situation with their Taurus. They wanted this one to come out vision no matter what you see the bigger picture of a loving just universe okay i feel like that has a deeper meaning so hold on and bear with me because i do feel like they're trying to tell you that it's not always what it seems so it says now that your blinders are coming off you are able to see the world and beyond the physical through your spiritual vision you are embracing the sacred mission, which is the reason you agreed to participate in this dimension. You can envision a universe so vast, beautiful, and spectacular that miracles are part of your everyday experience. Your higher intellect has been stimulated, and you can recognize the higher essence of other souls and know their lessons. You are able to grasp the difficult lessons of grief, loss, and sorrow, seeing them as experiences from which to grow. Spiritual guides, angels, and master teachers are drawn to you, whether you are aware of their presence or not. You have agreed on a soul level to be a conduit of deep spiritual truths, which you easily manifest into the physical. You have a strong intuitive sense of what you need to do on a large scale to bring your vision to the masses. This may be through the creative arts, such as writing, singing, painting, or speaking, or as a spiritual practitioner. As you embrace and live out your vision, you remind others how to dance to the tune of divinity and the oneness of being. What, even though, okay, so even though they're telling you, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm so sorry for the lighting. Can you guys see? There you go. Even though they're telling you basically that, that it, you know, this is kind of like your place in the world and everything like that, what I'm picking up 
energetically and what they want you to do in regards to this is that you need to just be chill. You need to just be chill. You need to let this play out because sometimes people need to have their own awakening and that's what I feel is going on here. When you leave people be and they don't have your presence anymore, Pisces, they're going to reach out. I guarantee you, it, it may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, it may not be maybe a month from now or whatever, but once you let a Pisces go, you realize the Pisces worth once you don't have that love and care and affection anymore. You start to realize that and you start to go through a lot of pain and you start to go through your own transformations. As a fellow Pisces, I've been through this before so many times, so I'm just letting you know right now that that's the case. Just chill, take it easy, relax. Let me see if I can pull an ancestor card and what they want you guys to do in regards to the situation. Can I get an ancestor card, guys, please, and what Pisces should do with their Taurus in this situation? An ancestor card. Ancestor card and what Pisces should do in regards to the situation with Taurus. Ancestor card. Ancestor card. Ancestor card and what Pisces should do in regards to their Taurus. Yeah, they just want you to chill. Sun, enjoy success and happiness, which I know is happening for a lot of us right now. So they just want you to chill. Enjoy the success and the happiness that's happening right now, guys. And it's everything else will follow. Everything else will definitely follow if you guys just chill. Because there's just a lot of things. There's just a lot of things that we tend to overthink. And it's not even really, you know, about that. So we obviously know it's about success and it's the most powerful planet in the solar system. So it's going to bring you power, success, and light. It brightens up all the connections, banishes darkness, brings a sense of youthfulness, and invites you to connect to the energy of joy so that you can be the light and spirit in, and heart. So you're being surrounded by the brightness of the sun at this time. Opportunities to feel and be successful are swirling and dancing around you. Relationships and friendships progress with joy and you will feel happy and uplifted. If you're not somewhere bright and sunny right now, there will be other ways in which you can enjoy warmth and joy. Solar energy brings health and vitality and can energize and warm and it also encourages everything to grow. The energy of expansion is with you at this time and you're being offered the perfect opportunity to move forward. If you want to bring something to life or are ready to take a new step in the relationship, the sun will bring the right energy to you. If you're asking a question, the answer is most definitely yes. So I'm pretty sure most of you are asking yourselves right now, like, will this work out with my, with my Taurus? And they're telling you that the answer is yes, but that you need to just chill. So for right now, you got to chill. And then the last couple messages that I want to get for you guys really quickly, because this is hitting a really crazy time mark. There's some messages that we can have for my Pisces at this time, dealing with their Tauruses. What are some messages that we can have for my Pisces spirit? Messages for my Pisces. Meditate and get a crystal. That's hilarious. This is my little personal deck, guys, that I just made for fun, but it's literally geared towards just Pisces people. I did it just for us, for readings. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh my gosh, you guys probably can't even see. It's horrible. There we go. Meditate. And get a crystal and the crystal that you can get obviously to deal with any type of love stuff is the rose quartz which is right here and they even have them in shapes of hearts and stuff so guys that's what i have for you right now i hope that this resonated with some of you and that it brought you at least a little bit of information you know what i mean like information maybe some some calmness some clarity um I'll see you guys in the next one for sure. Let me know if this resonated with you. Let me know if you are dealing with the Taurus and this is going on. If you guys are in communication, if you're not in communication, if you end up being in communication, I definitely want to know. Um, I want to know how all my Pisces are doing, um, being happy and everything. So for sure, for sure, let me know. You guys know that I love you so much. And just don't forget, everything's going to be down in the description box below. And I am doing personal readings. So if this resonated with you and you liked my energy, you liked my vibe, I can definitely bring you an excellent reading for anything that's going on, you know, in particular and tap into those energies particularly. So I hope you guys all have an amazing Saturday and I love and appreciate you so much. Laters!